Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim, Adobe XD, Adobe Experience Design, known as UX UI Design Tool. It is a great tool for prototyping website design. But today, we're going to use it a little bit differently. We're going to use Adobe XD as a video production tool. Something like this. So um, today I'm going to show you uh, how to create digital video ad for Instagram using Adobe XD. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so before we start, I want you to download a few files. I made a link in my description. The first file is the logo1.png file. And the second one is a logo2.png, white and transparent background. And the background of video file, the pink paint dripping in the water. It looks pretty fun. And the last file is Photoshop PSD file, uh, the red sofa uh, on the floor, like this. Okay, so once you download all of this, uh, please go to XD file, uh, Adobe XD. We're going to create a custom size. The size is going to be 1080 pixel width by 1350 pixel height, which is the, uh, the Instagram's video file size. So click on it. Okay, so we are now in custom size number one. So artboard number one. So go to file, import. So please import the funky logo1.png file. This one first, import it. Okay, now let me type the text funky, funky sofa, uh, the name of the company. So 120 point. And I'm going to choose yeah, my favorite typeface, um, Bauhaus, bold, in black. So you can use any types, any typeface you want. Okay, funky. Uh, I'm going to make a copy to the bottom by holding down the option and dragging. I'm going to type sofa, sofa, funky sofa. That's the name of this company. Okay, now select everything. Then group them. Command G. Let me zoom out. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on this artboard name. It will select everything. Hold down the Option key, click on the name of your artboard, and drag it. So this is a sequence number one, sequence number two. On sequence number one, once you select it, you see the grouping in your Layers panel, and there are multiple items. Logo, Funky, Sofa. Let me choose the Funky. I'm going to move it to the left. And let me change the um, opacity value down to zero. And the sofa to the right, down to zero. Last, the logo. Let me hold down the option key and drag it. I'm going to make it smaller. And let me hold down the shift key this time. And when I approach my mouse cursor to the corner, you see that? Mouse cursor changes, and let me rotate 45 degree angle. And changing the alpha value down to zero. So, this is sequence number one. This is sequence number two. And we're going to link it. So, go to prototype. Then you see that blue tab. <clears throat> and drag it to the next artboard. And on your right, the trigger. I'm going to use keys and gamepad. And then I'm going to trigger it by hitting down arrow key. So hit the down arrow key on your keyboard. And the type, instead of transition, I'm going to use the auto animate. Destination, custom size number one, which is this one, second page. Easing, in and out. And duration, I'm going to give some more time, like a two second. So let's play it. Click on play button. 
So nothing's gonna happen because we define the um, uh, the trigger as the um, the down arrow key. So let me hit the down arrow key and see what happens. So it looks pretty cool. Again, play. Hit the down arrow key. Funky so far. Yep, looks good. Now, let me zoom out. This time, uh, I'm gonna create yet another new um, new page. Let me go back to design, design mode. Then in your design mode on your toolbox, use the artboard tool. I'm gonna click somewhere here. Let me move it to the right just a little bit like this. And then let me zoom in. Uh, this time on the sequence number three, I'm going to change my field color to red just because the, I need to see the, my white text. So I cannot see the other white on white. So go to select the, your artboard number three, sequence number three, this one. Go to file, import, this time plus import uh, furniture logo number two dot PNG which is white. So I can, that's why I set my, um, the background color to red. Then let me type the word. Let me zoom in. I'm going to type stylish. Let me change the font and the uh, text color. No capital. Stylish. I'm going to choose this time uh, something Kirby and classical looking and then text color white I'm gonna make my text a slightly bigger 130 point and let me center it there stylish hold down the option and drag I'm gonna make a copy to the bottom and let me change the this text oops not this one to furniture so stylish furniture I'm gonna have just lowercase stylish furniture okay and then still there's a custom size number three uh, is selected go to file Import this time we're gonna import that video file pink underscore bg dot mp4 import it it will ask you this uh, let me loop playback it doesn't matter but um, let me turn this on important thing is play on play automatically so it plays automatically then check your the uh, layers panel layers. For now, the pink underscore that BG video file is on top. It is located on top. Please move it to the very bottom because that's the background. Okay. Then, let me just play this, uh, this page and see what happens. Pink paints dripping and dropping and you see that? It reveals the text and the logo. It is pretty cool. So that's why I set the um, this uh, background color in white and then a no um, no background color of this logo white white logo stylish furniture looks pretty cool okay and then now open your Photoshop file which is this one then select the bottom layer select all command A and command C copy. Now back to Adobe XD, paste it, command V. I'm going to place it on the bottom, just like this. Now back to Photoshop. This time we're going to copy and paste this red sofa with a shadow. Copy and back to XD and paste it. I'm going to place it somewhere there in the middle. Okay, and let me zoom in. Now I'm going to type something. Create the no capital 
the perfect home. Create a perfect home. And I like that the yeah, my typographic choice. I'm gonna have a black text and my um, paragraph. I'm gonna center it. And this is too big. Let me make it a little bit smaller, maybe 80 point. That looks good. I'm gonna center it there. Create the perfect home. And then also I want to have a logo. File import. This time let me import the first one, number one, logo dot logo one dot png. I'm gonna make it smaller. There. Okay. Yep. A little bit up. Okay. So it looks good. Okay. Now on artboard number three, select all and group them. Object and group. Now, I'm going to select yeah, the title of this artboard number three. Hold down the option and drag it to the right like this. Then select it and move it up. Now on artboard number three, I'm here. I'm going to change the position of this a uh, few things. So um, group number two. Uh, first, my red sofa, which is this one. Red sofa. I'm gonna move it to the right. Just like that. And my text to the left. And my logo, I'm just gonna rotate it. And 0% alpha value. Okay, now let's link it. So go to prototype. So we made a link from one to two by hitting the um, um, down arrow key. Now from the um, page number two to page number three, there's no link yet. I'm gonna link it and then I'm gonna use the trigger this time, something different, time. Delays, no delay but it will take uh, two seconds. Type is auto animate. And then uh, easing is in and out. Duration two seconds. Now, from page number three to page number four, link to the last page. This time I'm gonna use the keys and uh, gamepad as a trigger by hitting same down arrow key. Type, auto animate, is in and out, and two second duration. Okay. So now what happens? Let me go back. Select the first artboard in prototype. Play. So it's, it's not going to happen until the uh, I hit the uh, down arrow key because that was the first uh, trigger. So let me hit the down arrow key. Funky sofa, fading out, and the pink paint. It reveals the stylish furniture and the uh, logo. Let, let me hit the down arrow key. See? It's beautiful. Let me do it again. This time I'm going to start recording. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, good thing about this XD is. Uh, there is no any other kind of specific um, uh, the rendering uh, process. You can just hit the, this record button and it will record. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to start recording. Hit the down arrow key. Stylish, funky sofa furniture and the logo and down arrow key beautiful it asked me where to save i'm gonna save it to my folder uh let me save as uh, funky underscore sofa 
this time number two because I already have one and let me check my folder funky sofa number two watch funky sofa and then a paint pink paint stylish furniture and hit the down arrow key goes up okay it looks pretty cool so maybe you can post it on the, on the Instagram um, I hope that you enjoy this video and then um, um, you can use this for your future project thanks for watching I'll see you next time